He's up doing it this yeah. way, right? So I'm gonna uns unscale them. I don't want to put it on the grill this way. Catch, clean, and cook. The scissors really come in handy. Grill it that way and Can give me the knife. Knife your hand. Huh. I'm gonna grill the eggplants with them. I cook a little hole so it doesn't bust open when they're done. <laughs> so it doesn't explode. Yeah. Okay, I'm frying, well not frying, I'm sautéing the uh, garlic and pepper, trying to get it like um, my oven roasted, but I'm roasting it on a frying pan. Put a low, low, uh, low fire and let it slowly thaw out the ice and then it will be like um, roasted peppers with garlics which I'm going to use it for the lap, the striper lap. Okay, so I'm turning over the eggplant. Okay, let me see if I can get ready to turn the fish it. Ooh, it's starting to come apart. Oh, there we go. Turning them all over. Ooh, it's looking good, smelling good. Okay, here's a return coming back to see the um, peppers are roasting. Just make sure you use the non-stick pan. Like the one I have right here, after I'm done, I could just easily just wash it real quick. They all come out. So, instead of roasting it inside the oven, which is getting hotter and hotter. So there's something simple you guys can do outside too. Roasting the peppers and garlics over the, on the inside the pan. Almost done. Okay, this is the uh, roasted peppers and garlic smushed together. 
Need one more turn on the um, striper. Should be done. Just want it to have it a little bit more cooked. Okay, now after the grill striper. Looks tasty already. Mm -hmm. I'm going through without all the bones. I'm putting it all in here. Uh oh, my dog wants to eat. Let's stop that. I actually want it. So once they are grilled, they're easily they can be taken out. Easy. I'm just going through them for the bones. I'll make sure I don't encounter. If I encounter any bones, I just want to take it out. When you grill, you kind of get into everywhere. You get all the meat, all the beautiful meat right here. It's pretty hot, so I gotta wear gloves. Okay, here's the grilled eggplant. It's easy, open. Okay, I'm going to chop it with the, the fish. The reason I'm chopping the fish is because of the skin, the, uh, the barbecue skin. I wanted to, you know, break that apart. If you don't do it with the skin, you don't need to chop it up. All you can do is just squish the, um, oh, I thought I saw a bone. Where did it go? Oh, right here. You just kind of like mush the meat up like this and then mix it up, you would, it would be just fine. But in my case, this one, I want to keep the, the skin, so I'm chopping it up. Okay, this is the crushed eggplants with the roast chili uh, roast peppers and roast garlic together i'm just gonna hit two birds with one stone since i wanted the so hot sauce too so this is the eggplant hot sauce then this is the roasted pepper and the garlic took out Oh, I suppose I'm going to put this, the lab paste. Let's use the whole bag. This is a lot right here. This already has, oh, it might be too spicy. A little bit of salt. And, mm-hmm. Of course, always a little bit of MSG. What? Okay. Okay, a little bit of the rice powder. Oh, that's not a little bit, that's a lot. So I get the rice powder right there. Roast the rice powder. Okay, I'm gonna mix it together. See that? See when you mix it together, you can see with those bones. So just take it out before anyone might make the mistake consuming it. Okay. 
is a cut cilantro. This time I'm only putting cilantro. Some people want to put other herbs too. But for me, I just want cilantro tonight. I'm going to mix it. Yep, still keep finding some bones. And then, that's it. There's your striper lap. Enjoy.